Greetings, Commanders! And welcome back to Archimedes Station! How's everyone doing tonight, or today, or whatever time you're watching this thing? We're gonna re-upload this once we're all done with this nice short stream tonight! But tonight, we are returning to the Baby Ark! We started an arc last week, and we've got unfinished business on server 1125. So, uh, we're gonna head back into the Ark. I was expecting to be on fire and pillaged and all that zeroed. Uh, but apparently not so much, so I decided to put a shield on earlier so I wouldn't come back to a burning arc. Uh, so I'm gonna be logging into that right now and saying hello to chat. Crouton Bomb, what's going on, man? Zero cool, cool, cold purse, cold pulse was first. Woo! It's gonna be a good night, boys. Can't wait to get back into this baby account. I've been logging into here and there, trying to get caught up in things that'll be interesting to show players. Uh, so let's jump into it. Oh, let's talk about this real quick. This is a new project I've been working on. Uh, it's the Commander Card series. This is 7 out of 10. I was uh, talking to Keb today. Kebby Snowflake, if you will. Did an episode of ARCs with him a while back. No, no, we didn't. We didn't do Kebby's... Not yet. We did a replay with him. We need to do Kebby's ARCs. But anyway, we were talking about a very specific Vega counter for the Season 9 Commander Card. Here's a sneak peek for all you live streamers. Um, I'll be talking about that more on Patreon and the YouTube community channel if you follow that. And hopefully I'll start rolling these out next next week, maybe. Uh, I did the Badass Gilly video last week. Uh, we're going to probably do some Full Metal stuff, some Roger stuff. The very specific builds to counter the current meta. So that's in the works now. I'm working with some of the Chinese players, too, to get their builds. And the truth is about these builds, guys, is it's, it's really for the super late game stuff. But... You know, I enjoy the super late game, right? I watch the Galactic Battles. I stream the Galactic Battles. Um, that that seems to be a, a, a giant topic of discussion on my channel, and I like that part of it. So I do want to keep going down that road and talking about the super late game builds. But a lot of these super late game players just throw a lot of money at the game, and they don't really know what the best of the best of the best builds are because, frankly, they are kind of just copying each other. And uh, we have to define the meta for them, or uh, at least give them ideas. So that's kind of what this is, is this is the specific counter to vega build if you're a gilly main so uh anyway more on that later let's jump into our baby arc here ta-da mini melt i was named by army so thanks for that um personalizing the cards yes crouton bomb each player is going to be named after their card so badass's gilly was a build built by badass to counter rogers right kebby snowflakes's gilly is the build built by keb to counter vega Bingo's full metal is a tank HP full metal to counter infantry and I believe elf. What's is that what it was? Elf? I forget. Anyway, yeah, there's specific players build. Odad's full metal, I think we're going to do maybe Gant's full metal. We'll see. There's a lot of these guys have five mains, so we'll be mixing it up as time goes on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's that's kind of the idea. Like, add the the get the face of the celebrities who are big parts of this game. And get their builds out there for Season 9, right? I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I'm trying to find ways to interact with the community, right? I want to log in every day. I want to talk about players everyone knows. This is a great way to do it. Show off their builds. Get their feedbacks. Get talking to them. You know, build that dialogue. Build that rapport. So they invite me over to their house so I can film an episode of ARCs with a camera crew. Wink, wink. Shit, I'm wearing glasses. Whatever. Anyway, all right, boys. Enough of my, uh, I don't know, my constant uh, planning, scheming. Let's get on to Mini Melt. So where we left off, I'm a 35,000 power arc. Uh, I am currently a Walker main because apparently everyone is when you start off. They give you an NB-55 and Galileo for like free and $5. NB-55 is no longer available to me unless I give them 7,500 gold. So I think the good way to start this stream off is if you do release 10 and you factor in what the cost of... Uh, the gold is 7,000 gold for each release 10. As it as it turns out, each S commander from all the way from rank D all the way to A is worth about 18,000 gold on average. I did this math a long time ago, a year and a half, two years ago. Um, but basically, if you wanted to get all 48 or 52 commanders to S class, you'd have to spend the equivalent of 20,000 gold for each of them. Um, 18 or 20,000 gold. So when, when they offer you a commander for 7,500 gold, what they're really doing is giving you a commander at less than half price. And NB-55 is one of the worst S commanders in the game, but uh, as you get bigger in a week or two, you'll have enough leadership that you'll want to absorb a commander to make their leadership bigger. NB-55 is a great commander to absorb uh, so that you can double your commander's leadership. Once you get to uh, 900 leadership, your uh, ad success for magazines goes down until an ad leadership success event comes along. Usually not until your first 
server merge do you get that event uh, but you need s commanders he's half price and then some definitely worth picking up for 7500 gold i'm just broke because all my money's invested that's right the most important thing to do on a small account is invest your gold uh some of them you can't do until you get vip five or something uh but you want to invest as much as you can as often as you can all the time tie your gold up there make sure you uh keep that investment rolling it's worth thirty thousand a month twenty thousand thirty thousand how much gold is it a month it's like a thousand a day in gold investments if you max them out all the time and have a decent average Woo! okay blackheim how's it going man yes you do live nearby me uh are you an elf main i guess you can do like the commander leadership swap now oh i can do peak contest already sweet uh what is it what's it called the uh, item research token the smart transfer chip i guess you could transfer back to tina i hope you didn't destroy your tina did you answer us now live in the live stream did you destroy your tina to absorb her into elf ah fire medic what's going on man Zero cool. Play the ladies' night music. Oh my god. You know what? I don't know if I still have that ladies' night music. I don't think I ever downloaded it. The Tina's song? That was funny. That is so funny. Yeah, I'm glad you remember that. I uh, I, I did not. But uh... <laughs> All right. Uh, let's jump into it. What do we need to do? Well, first we need to gather our resources and figure out where we're going. We're kind of at that point we need to start PvPing because we're going to be using up our resources more... Uh, we're going to need more resources than we're going to naturally gather. So are we on enriched tiles? We are. We can attack a tile here just to um, get the uh, the daily attack on enriched, right? We want to do our dailies every day. Now, I do have a ton of storyline stuff available uh, for doing explore. Remember, when you explore, you finish a quest, and they actually are worth a lot of resources. So let's see what we need to do. Uh, we can upgrade our forge ship. We'll go ahead and start that. They do give you a lot of speed ups early on. Um, Increase leadership 50 times. We'll go ahead and do that now. Thank you. We'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Remember, it's good to spread your leadership around a little bit uh, because you do need to be able to have enough commanders to do your daily, not your daily, your daily exploration, right? If you only have one main commander, you're not going to be able to, you know, insaturate three or four tiles for resource gathering. So it's good to have at least, you know, a few at five to 800 leadership. I know it's hard in the first day. But over time, it becomes possible, day or two, especially if you start spending money. Uh, but we're not doing that. We're not doing that tonight, right, guys? We are not. We are going to hold strong. Where's my wallet? Put my wallet away. Okay. No wallets tonight, boys. We're playing it. Uh, we're going Dutch tonight. Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Okay. So we need to craft a mongoose, and then we need to release a commander. And I'll try to keep up with chat as best I can. There's obviously a lot going on here. I need a dagger 102. So we got to complete chapter 112 to get a dagger 102. I can now do mop-up. Do I have VIP to do mop-up? Don't you have to have a VIP? Let's see. Okay, yeah, you can do it. Oh, did I get it first try? No, that's dagger 101. Okay. 307 mop-up tokens, tokens. Tokens. I'm not going to waste those right now. Ooh, actually, maybe I will. Just because uh, I really just want to build the mongoose and be on my way. So let's go ahead and do that. I could probably do a better one. You know, I could probably do a better one that gives better rewards because Dagger 102 is not exactly rare, but that's okay. We're just going to keep doing this. Ooh, a free magazine. I'll take it. Oh, don't you start, Blackheim. Do not stay. Hey, there's the Dagger 102. Now we can build the Mongoose. Blackheim, knock it off right now. I'm going to be the only streamer on YouTube telling people not to donate. We're not going to be spending money, okay? We are not putting any more money into Baby Ark. Maybe. Probably, probably not. We are not going to upgrade this account. It doesn't need money to be fun. You don't have to spend on this game. This is not a pay-to-win game. <laughs> That's my fakest laugh, but it's so funny. I, I love our commercial. Should we throw one of the Ark of War commercials on saying it's not a pay-to-win game? Actually, I don't think the commercials say that, right? It's just like a little text thing. This is not a pay-to-win game. It's a cell phone game in 2019 from China. It's a pay-to-win game. But uh, listen, hey, you know that going into it, you're an adult. Every cell phone game lets you pay nowadays. If it doesn't, well, you know, maybe they're great developers. Maybe they're not. Maybe there's so many players playing them. They got to get paid somehow, right? You want updates? You want new art? You want new commanders? Google's not paying them for hosting their game, let me tell you right now. So that's just the world we live in, boys. Anyway, um, let's jump into our first release. Should we do a release? All right, we're going to do the release right now. Uh, I don't have any redemption codes to give out tonight. I gave out too many this month. I've got new redemption codes I'm giving out for replay of the week and meme review. That's eating up eight of them. I gave away four last stream. No 
Re- no bundles tonight. No redemption codes tonight. Let's pick a commander. You get bragging rights. I don't know. Should we should we send out a gift? All right, I'll tell you what. If you guess the commander that comes out of this warp gate, I will give you this. I've got a bunch of them. I, I We never hit the 95 patron goal. Uh, I'm just going to send one of these out. I've got the tubes. I got it already. They're posters. They're 11 by 14. You can I'll sign it. You can frame it. You can put it under your desk. You can throw in the trash. Whatever you like. It's an Ark of War original content piece. The T5 airships with the uh, the ship, the Maelstrom ship. I actually own the rights to this, all right? So, so they can't, like, sue me or anything. This is the first revision of Ark of War art that I had made. So, you know what? If you guess it right, you're getting that poster. And if 17 people get it right, I'll mail out 17 posters. How's that? Okay, whatever your uh, last guess is is what's getting credit for it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. It's going to be kid. If it's kid, dude, please don't be kid. Yes! Yes, no one's getting it. No one said Luna, right? No one said Luna? No Lunas? No Lunas? No Techman Moonstar poster. That's it. No Techman Moonstar poster. <laughs> Actually, I think someone does have the Techman Moonstar poster. Who is it? Who owns the Techman Moonstar poster? I did send one out. Well, there was one I gave out in a contest. I think Blue Opulence, one of the girls, one of the girls that follow the channel actually has one of the Techman Moonstar posters. Nice try. Nice try. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. London's Fog is here. Hey, London's Fog. How you doing? How you doing? Is Monkey here, too? Where's Monkey at? Anyway, so that's the uh, that's the Commander release. No more free releases tonight. I guess we do have some tokens. But yeah, those Techman Moonstar posters, I'm just going to mail them out in December. Uh, anyone that's a patron in December, you're just gonna. I'm just going to mail them out. Signed. That's it. I don't know what else to do with them. I want to move on to other projects. I feel like I'm being held back by the other projects. Okay, uh, what do we need to do? We got our got our commanders. We're doing our quest now. They want us to do 20 hummingbirds. Fine, we'll do 20 hummingbirds. Uh, we have all this stuff to collect, but I'm not collecting it. I don't know if they're protected resources for the... For, who sent... Zero cool for two bucks. Thank you very much, sir. And fish head. Damn it, now we're up to $9. What are we going to do with $9? Stop it. Stop it. You guys are enabling. This is bad. Okay. Uh, we got to do some research. We've got to do the research. Ah, Anubis is here. How's it going, Anubis? What, are you hanging out on the baby stream, Anubis? Trying to learn some things, huh? You got some things you want to apply to your big boy account? We got to do Anubis's pimp mark. Is that... Are you still playing uh, your account, or are you playing Albatross's account? Who's playing Albatross's account? That's what I want to know. All right, we have Tier 2 walkers. We probably... I'm sorry. We have Tier 2 walker infantry airships. Now we can start doing the other stuff. We'll go ahead and do airships just because. I mean, I like Plasma for infantry because he's such a good bomber. I will need infantry research if I want to use Plasma. Truth is, though, I know better than to try to go infantry again. I'm going to stick to walkers because walkers are where it's at. We're still maining Galileo. Great commander, ramp commander, all the way to the top. Um, I still need gear. Now, this gear here is infantry only, so I'm only running Tier 2 walker on him. I don't. That's not going to give me any stats whatsoever. Uh, and I've got some basic green gear. I've got some pants I could wear, I suppose. Remember, you can't upgrade green gear. you got to make it uh, gold. Yum Yum is Albatross. Interesting. Okay, I got you. Who was Yum Yum before Yum Yum? Did I know him? All right, so here's all the stuff we can craft. Don't forget my. Don't forget your pants. I won't. I won't. I won't. Didn't I forget my helmet last time? Not the pants. All right. Uh, I need. I need. Really, what I really want is is Walker accuracy weapons. Right. Dodge is a big problem for Galileo. It's not a big problem for PVE. But when I start getting into server side fights, I will need a lot of accuracy. Medium rifle Mark II is good for that. But I think medium rifle Mark One is actually better. Yeah, because it has attack and accuracy. So actually, that's better in that regard. Uh, but I'm just so far away from those. I need to get stage two and three. How far am I away from tier three infantry or research? So let's, oh, wait a minute. We got a quest here. Equip commander with equipment. Okay, we'll do that. Here you go. There we go. It's already equipped. Done. How weird. The quest is saying to do the thing that's already done. All right, we'll undo it and redo it. How's that game? Okay. Wowzer. Okay. Did I get... Wow, that was an amazing quest. Way to go, game. Don't fall off, hat. Okay. It's getting hot in here, boys. I'm not going to not gonna play that game tonight. Upgrade your comm tower to level 3. That's done. Forge ship to 2. Research lab to 4. Forge ship to 3. So what do we want to get into tonight, right? What should we do? Obviously, we should start some trouble, right? We got to do some server-side PvP. 
Uh, but we want to be able to hit hard enough to actually do some damage. I want to throw this out there before I go any further. Remember, if you're a new account and you really want to get your first hull at bridge 10, you can do a seven day callback and they give you like half of what you need for the Ares hull, which is almost like easier than actually trying to farm the resources um, because they can be difficult to get at first. But uh, all right, let's pull Mary back. Big girl. All right, who, speaking of which, what's going on on my server? Oh, I can't even look at the leaderboard? What's going on? Okay, all right, all right. Who's on my server? Who's on my guild? I think I'm server 1125, right? 1125, we still haven't had a proper battle for Centicon yet. Area 17, nothing is available to steal. When are these going to become available? Three days left, and we can battle for the capitals. What do you guys think? Friday? Do another live stream battle for the capitals. Now look at this guy, 30,000. I'm so broke on gold, I can't even gold jump around to start hitting people. Although there was some donations. I mean, that money is just floating out there in the nether. We got to use it for something. I mean, it's just there. You don't want to waste it, you know? It's a good thing you guys can't see my eyes. Okay, uh, we need to uh, get our evolve going. Do we have. So every time I log off, I make sure I start evolving. Uh, my tier 1 into tier 2 because I need a ton of tier 2 it's so important to have a big supply of tier 2 all the way up until tier 9 really you are going to be using a ton of tier 2 and then when you think you're not going to use any tier 2 anymore you're going to be using it for guild fort battles you're going to use that tier 2 so keep building it non-stop keep it going this guy is saying upgrade your diner ship to level 6 can we? can we? there we go oh, alright finish that we'll pay the gold alright so that's our next quest let's get some more tier 2 being built and uh, I wonder if we should Activate our VIP. Activate our VIP for 24 hours? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. Yeah, I know, London Fog saying, this is a great little mini-series. I wish I would have seen this when I started. Yeah, you know, I, and I kind of fought back on doing this for a long time because it wasn't something I was interested in at the time. I, nobody wants to play this game and start over. Like, the amount of time and money you have into it to start over just seemed ridiculous. But I did it on Sky Kingdoms, and I had a really good time. Sky Kingdoms, not as much fun as it used to be, right? I mean, it basically turned into Ark of War. Wow, look at all this stuff I've got already unlocked. Okay, look at all these resources. There we go. Diner level 6. Now we're building. Um... But I kind of got the idea just to see where the game is at. I knew that there was so much more stuff in the game, especially for beginners. After after I saw that Tier 9 Unlimited resource pack and realized that they were ramping lower in players, and players like Captain Harlock, who's a Tier 12 Rogers player, uh, I did some stuff with him recently. Uh, he's like a year old account, right? King Kane is a year and a half old account, and they're bigger than me, right? And that's because people that spend are being rewarded. Uh, differently than players that are old accounts. So I just want kind of want to see how that's going. Now, you can't see any bonus packs right now for beginning players, but uh, they'll, they'll pop up as things get locked, unlocked, excuse me. Uh, so what can we do? Did we already do our explore pickups? Yeah, we grabbed our free magazines. That was nice. My Galileo was sitting in my med bay. Let's load that. What is this? All right, so what we need to do is, is take this here. Dang it. The tier 3 uh, hind ships, which are great for PvE, are kind of annoying when you're doing auto load. There we go. Alright, so now we have that. I do want to put, you know, some more... Ooh, that's, I'm going to lose some troops here. Oh, you know what I want to show you guys? Um, time and Space War. So, I kind of... So, it is possible to make a macro um, that lets it kind of like do the Time and Space War for you. Um, using macros is... I think against the rules. I'm not 100% sure about that. So I don't advise using them publicly. Uh, but it is possible. So just be aware that people do use them. Uh, that being said, I have 16,614 power uh, because I've been playing the Time and Space War. Now, what this does, it doesn't give you a direct advantage over players, but what it will do is it'll start unlocking things for you. And as your power goes up, your wave goes up over here, the wave. Uh, and what that does is when you do your mop up at the end of the week or at the end of the day, the merchant has more things for you to buy. Now, this Gaussian alloy for 60000 is a great buy. Now, early on, actually, the first day, it's kind of hard to buy this stuff because you simply just don't have the resources or the, the meta crystals. But after a day or two, uh, after you get some, some wave power, your residual income goes up way, way higher, and you can actually afford to buy this stuff. And it's basically free as far as I'm concerned. Ooh, we got a free release. 125000 cash for a release one. Maybe we'll do that again. Yeah, we'll do that again. So I just buy all this stuff. 
Um, the cash, I'll even buy it just because, uh, you know, we're going to be PVPing. So we're going to need hospital space. Enter permits. 20% off coupon. I don't need that. Random D, we'll take that. Random C, we'll take that. Some magazines. Don't need the Shadow Matter just yet. But for 36000 I might need just one. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm getting low on cash. Burn the Metacrystal always. Burn the Metacrystal always. On my main account, I have $23 million because I refuse to buy the Quantized Potion. I think it's going to come around again. Uh, Cosmic Crystal, I can pass on for now. Okay. So, that's pretty much that. All right. Yeah. For those of you wondering how the macro works, is basically you just tap that a thousand times till it says limit read. Well, you tap it like ten times, and you just have a little macro that clicks everywhere and drags it all on top of each other, and then you drag whatever's on top of each other on top of each other again, and then you drag it all the way to the top. <laughs> Teaching people how to use macros. You can only use mac. Well, you can use macros on cell phones too, but the emulators do a little bit better. Anyway. Uh, you can do that for building troops and rangers and all that. If you ever wonder how people build a million rangers a day, that's how they do it. It's kind of one of those things that I don't want to like perpetuate, the, the use of macros and cheating and all that, whatever you want to call it. But people do it. They, they'll lie about it. They'll tell you they won't. But at the end of the day, if you need to build millions and millions of rangers, which is what the game kind of demands because of the zeroing rules, the best way to do it is macros. We live in a computer age world, software rules, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. So... What can we do? Well, we still have our shield on. Uh, we could probably go pick a fight. Where are we in the world right now? Hmm. You know what happened? I got ported because I did get attacked and my hull was broken. So I am way down at the bottom. There's not a lot of ships down here. On a new server, on a new account, usually all the ships are up top here. Usually uh, up in Tiberia, right? Or Zentown. I think it's Zentown, yeah. Okay, so that's the idea, is uh, we're going to go looking for a fight. We're going to try and get our upgrades rolling out. I didn't want to do all the upgrades when no one was around, just to kind of show people that this you're doing it right. This is how the game is played. You just keep upgrading everything like, like a madman for the first week. It's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. There's a feeling of constant progress, and uh, people like that, right? People like the constant progress. Like, oh, I'm growing. Wow, I'm level 7 now. Jeez, I'm really growing fast. Um, there is certainly an illusion of power, though, because... All it really comes down to, at the end of the day, is how big your march is early on. A lot of leadership is really important. If you, Even if that someone has Tier 3 and you have Tier 2, but you have tripled the leadership, you'll steamroll them with Tier 2. Things don't get crazy until like Tier 7 and Tier 9. Then, tier 9 very much so, but Tier 7 really is an identifier. Fishhead, 5 bucks. Thanks for the donation. Melt needs some gold. Bro, I do need some gold. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're just looking. We're not thinking about buying. We're just looking. What is this? Purchase 750 gold to receive a ton. Ah, oh, it's only 6,000. But five days of VIP, that's a pretty sweet deal. Now, we're just looking at this for research purposes. Immediately resold. Re, oh, yeah, it's telling you how much gold you're getting. You're getting 100,000 worth or whatever. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Optional resource packs. Advanced inner permits. There's a release 10. I really like those early on. Gets you a lot of commanders and magazines and... Don't need the uh, the equipment so much. I guess I do need the equipment. I mean, equipment's useful, but it's not. It's one of those things where, like, if you buy the equipment pack now, in a week you're gonna go, God, why did I waste the money on that? I should have bought magazines, you know. So, I got my skills to fourteen, fifteen. I could go a little higher here. Um, kind of forgot. I'm just low on gold. I shouldn't be doing that. How much more can we add up? All right, we're stuck there. Ooh, okay. We are at a thousand leadership now. That's nice. Let's take this. We're going to reset our auto-deploy march like that. Oh, God. Those Tier 3 airships automatically load. It's so annoying. All right. I mean, there is a way to uh, get rid of them, right? Like, I can uh, I could take them and just put them right there. There. Now they're locked in Explore. So if I go attack something on the map, Flare is using them in Explore, and I could just auto-load like that, and then the Tier 3 Hinds are locked in the auto-load. Ah. <sighs> War Machine saying, if you start buying gold for an alt, you won't stop. I know. I know. Well, if I convince myself I'm not actually spending my money and it's other people's money, then it, it feels different. Um, all right. Galileo with his first victory report. I mean, there's really nothing to see here, but I'll show the replay just because if people don't know. Remember, first slot goes first. Uh, whoever has the higher commander leadership level goes, not leadership, higher commander level attacks first. Even And if you're tied, defender has first strike. That's generally the rule. It changes for capitals. If you've had a successful defense, 
And that is about the most basic way of explaining a very advanced concept I can do. Okay. Uh, if you're not sure about those rules, you can always message me online and I will invite you to the line chat because we're still increasing our population. Is that suave? Suave? Is that the real suave? It could be. For those of you guys that don't know, there's a couple of content creators out there in the world. Mandalorian Gaming, The Mandalore, right? That was a. Uh, uh, he created the first YouTube content. Then there was Suave, Me, and Deranged made some videos. Jinjo made some videos. Uh, we've got a few Ark of War content creators, and every now and again they'll pop in. You know, we're, we're waiting for him to have a resurgence, but uh, a resurgence. He's busy. He's a younger guy. He's got you know school stuff to work with. I'm old. I'm an old guy. I got nothing to do, so I can play video games all day. I love how there's like an automatic, uh, you know, warning system. Like ah, this. Oh, there's an, is, that's an easy win for you. It says. All right, should we go pick a fight? I'm afraid now that I'm live streaming, people are like waiting on my server to attack me because they know I'm live streaming. They just like want to hit me. That could be a thing. Uh, what are we trying to build, right? We're building a bridge seven. All right, let's go. Armored hall, let's go. Speed up. Okay, we're speeding up. 30, 15 minutes. Go. Ah, bridge level rush. A ton of stuff. Wow, $10. That's a pretty sweet deal. Man, it's a good deal. <laughs> 100 one hour speed ups? It's pretty good. It's not good enough, though. It's not good enough. It's a lot of resources, but I don't need resources because I can still just do explore to get those early resources. Yeah, I could still get those resources. Like I said, I'm more interested in buying leadership. Leadership wins fights. Research in higher tier does too, but. All right, what do we have in the way of research here? We're still doing Walker. We need Research Lab 8. So let's focus on that. What about our development? Oh, man. Research speed we got to do. Uh, food production, cash production, all this stuff is worth getting just a little bit of because it's so cheap. At least like level 3 or 4, right? But assembly line, capacity, all this other stuff is not necessarily essential to get to 10, level 10 or max out right away at least. You can get it as you as you need it. As you see that, it, as it's an easy upgrade, get it. As you, as time goes on later into the game, you'll realize some things are just ridiculously expensive, and you may as well take a free power grow upgrade or resource or research upgrade when you can get it. Okay, <laughs> Anubis is like, you should get that pack. It's pretty sweet. Nah, 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 nah. nah. It's got to be a better pack than that. It's got to be a leadership pack. What's the one I'm really eyeing? Strongest Commander Pack? This one's got release 10s in it. That's why I like the advanced one, right? Because that's got release 10. That's fun for the stream, and it gets me more commanders. And an A Commander. Not a lot of resources, but listen. Look where I'm headed. Look. See that guy down there? We're moving on this guy. Whoa, I got a free warp. That's right, you get one free warp. Your first jump is free. Interesting. All right, here's all my guild mates. Let's see. Is anyone near somebody? I kind of... Oh, Hello. I could pillage that guy. Hey, if you're on server 1125, come and join me. Uh, our guild is a small guild. It looks like the Grim Reaper hasn't logged in for seven days. Gundam for two days. Hellstorm for six days. Okay, my guild is not very active. I've got about maybe five active players. All right. Oh, well. Okay. So we're going to go over here and try to hit this guy. And we need... Whoa, what is this in the bottom left? Bridge level rush. Okay, that's the pack I turned down. It's got to be better than that, devs. Got to be better than that. Plus, if I got all that gold, I'd probably just buy NB55. Suave. He's saying, send in a ticket for the 15,000 gold pack. You think I should? Would they give it to a level 1 if I spent $100? You think they'd give me 10,000 unlimited crystals? <laughs> I bet they would. I bet they totally would, right? Because, I mean, listen, it's public information. They announced they would, and I put it in the news video today. So, like, if they tried to deny me, oh, dude, I'd just be like, really? Like, listen, here's a YouTube video. This is proof. I have already know you guys do it. This is unfair. You have to do it. I would just keep being nice to them, but I'm sure they would do it first try. At the end of the day, listen, they're still getting 100 bucks. <laughs> That's what they really want, right? <laughs> like, uh, it's funny. That's funny. Yeah, there was a player. I told you guys in the news day, there was a player that hit me up. He's like, yo, I, I got all this extra stuff. Don't tell anyone who I am. 
I'm like, I wouldn't worry, man. Like, they, they wanted you to spend money. You found a loophole, but you still gave them $600. <laughs> no! Zero cool. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Zero cool. Zero cool donated 10 bucks. All right. What pack should we get? Should we do the release pack just because that's fun? That's like a little bit of gambling. Is there any events going on? Okay, we'll do the release pack. We'll do the release pack. Now, let's make sure we don't give away our credit card information again because that was embarrassing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and buy the advanced inner permit. <laughs> okay, as soon as I click to purchase, it crashed the app. So uh, we're going to have to reload. There we go. Ah, look at that intro. Mm, mm, mm. London Fog saying the release pack. All right, London's Fog, she cements the deal. We're doing the release pack, no doubt about it. That's it. I'm going to buy that right now. Okay. Yes, yes, Darth Vader. That was what they said. Basically, you can message them and they'll give it to you. Uh, even if you didn't have it, even though you should have it, or even if you didn't have it, they would still give it to you. I probably should have clarified that. Listen, I, I'm sure if you just do it and ask them, they'll they'll do it, you know. But uh, ROG isn't a name. It's like an abbreviation. All right, let's go back to the observation deck. Okay, so let's try and do this again. Uh, we need the release permits. Buy now. Okay. American Express. Why does it always see like it's it seems like it's going to be anonymous and then it's not. Just want to make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong here. There was a while there on Streamlabs that your your screen didn't automatically change. You had to like force it cuz I was in studio mode. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 we'll do a release 10 we'll do a release 10 all right, all right we'll do just one release 10 we might need to save some of those no we don't need to save them all right we'll do one release 10 all right guess the b commander remember you're guaranteed one b commander could be an a commander guess the b commander and uh we got to give away at least one of the techman moonstar posters tonight guys we have to give away at least one of these so uh if you guess the right b commander I'm going to mail you one of these. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, there is 61 viewers in the live, 63 viewers in the live stream right now. Oh, whoops. There we go. What was I doing that whole time? I didn't have chat turned on. There we go. Okay. Good God. Look at all these Medusa fans. Oh, man. <laughs> if, if it's Medusa, I'm going to have to mail out like 10 of these things. Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't be Medusa. Please be an A commander. Oh, God. Oh, God. Flair. Flair's a good guess. All right, here we go. Here we go. Put your bets in. Oh, God. Crouton Bomb. Fishhead, you guys are mods. Fire Medic, you guys are mods. Keep an eye on which who guesses the right commanders. Locking in at Ramon or I... It's Vega! Oh, God. I've never been so happy to see a Vega. No one said Vega, right? Oh, God. Fire Medic said Vega. Oh, Mech said Vega. Oh, jeez. The Ghost said Vega. Rog said Vega. Oh, jeez. What have I done? Congratulations. You guys are all going to be the proud owners of the Techman Moonstar poster. Which apparently, there it is. There it is. I'm sending all you guys that. So what you need to do. Uh, lots of Vega. Yeah, there's lots of Vegas. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I thought I got off scot-free with that one. Just one or two. But I guess I'm mailing out a bunch of those. Well, I said I wanted to get rid of them. All right. Uh, everyone that won the posters, and we're going to do a complete list here in a second. Uh, we've got Mech, Ghost, ROG. There was one more. Wasn't there one more? Mech, Ghost, ROG, and I know three for sure. Um, and Fire Medic. Fire Medic was the fourth. Duh. Uh, okay. All four of you guys, message me on line, melt.aow, or email me, meltfromyt at gmail.com, and just tell me your credentials, and I will uh, sign it, mail it, and send it off to you. And Fire can send his to Crouton. Fire's has to go all the way to Australia, I believe, right? All the way down under. All right. We're going to go ahead and release the other... Nah, let's, let's save that other release 10. I'll save that other release 10. I'm not going to... Damn, four. Four of them got me. They got me, boys. They got me. 
Okay. You see that? You see that, guys? Donating to the stream ends up costing me money. That's going to cost me like $50 in shipping. Uh, that's funny. Hey, I got promoted. What did I do? All right. Spending recklessly promoting the game on YouTube. That's how you get promoted. Vice leader. Look at me, boys and girls. I'm moving up in the world. All right. Should we attack somebody? Let's attack somebody. Let's double check all of our... Re what are we waiting on? We were waiting on... Uh, I feel like there's always so much stuff to do. It's hard to like do what... Ah. Wait. Upgrade. Finish now. Use item. That. Beautiful. I feel like there's, I'm always tripping up, like making sure I'm, I'm not falling behind on things I need to just obviously do. Look, it's actually, I'm going to go check the fact, the comm tower. The comm tower has a red exclamation point saying, check me, choose a faction. Uh, this is one of those things where I know Stella's great early game for Nixaw. I know that Raymond is great Maguel for um, airships. And I know Yuri is terrible, but... I need those Leo chests. At Respected, you get unlocked Leo chests from um, Ace of Galaxy. And Defense 30 kind of sucks, but Yuri is so terrible. The Walker Commander Yuri. So it's almost like it's worth going Nixa and then Magiwell and then Voltar last if you're going to do faction quests. Oh, God, I hate faction quests. But I need that Leo chest. You know what? There. I'm just going to... I have 109... Oh, I hate giving away my cosmic crystals because they're so important for uh, they're so important for uh, oracles. So I'm just gonna get it to friendly. All right, boys. Sorry, I'm drinking on stream, but I just got to keep it going, guys. Got to keep it going. I can't stop the stream to take a drink. Okay. There we are. We are now friendly. We have some eight-hour buffs. We're not going to buy. We don't need them right away. They are quite useful early game. We could spend our gold on NB55. Mm, I know. I told. I started the stream off saying you should definitely do this, but I also think I should definitely be re investing in my research in my uh, investments. Investments are more important than NB55. Seven day or thirty days, a hundred percent is not as good as. 15 days, 30 to 70%. That's the best one, but I can't fully max that out. I will soon, though, so I'm just going to... Ah, the 30-day one. I'm just going to go with it. 5,000 gold. It's maxed out. It is what it is. I'll try to get the other gold elsewhere. There is ways to get uh, gold. I forgot how, how else to get gold. Oh, killing monsters, right? Killing monsters. You get a ton of gold. And uh, I know a trick to killing monsters is get four set Ares or Virgo, and you can totally disable a level 20 monster's damage. And uh, that is a great way to get gold early on if you have Ares, I guess. But do a lot of Ace of Galaxies whenever you log off. Burn all your... Ooh, another guy. My main concern at this point is I'm breaking my shield. And uh, uh, I have a lot of resources. Like, I didn't burn all my resources. I'm just going to start scouting everyone, right? I want to get some resources. I don't know why I'm going to get resources. I'm going to turn our marching speed on. I really don't need it. Oh, it's 600 gold, man. Jeez. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Now, if I get hit on the enriched tiles, um, it will teleport me. But if I decide that I don't want to be teleported, I can just move to this immediately. And if someone hits me while I'm in motion, the game treats it as if I am not on enriched. So if someone's about to hit me and I want to teleport, I think I can just go to enriched like that. And even though I'm not there anymore, I'm going there, and it should teleport me. I forget if that's how they still do it. That's how they used to do it. All right, let's see. Scouting reports. Broke, 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 broke. Nah, that one's not bad. This guy's not bad here. I mean, it's four, five hundred k, right? It's, I mean, it's worth doing. So we'll do that. There we go. And uh, that'll get us at least a half million from each of those guys. That'll get us almost a million, maybe a million and a half. All right. So let's see if we can't find anyone else to, to scout. Oh, is this? did we scout this guy? That's the other problem is you don't know if you've already scouted somebody when they're all the same like power level and size. They all look the same. I love the little ships. Oh, wait. Hello. Hello. Level 8 player. He's probably broke, though. Level 8, he's already spent all his resources. But, oh, another 7. Oh, they're all over the place, boys. All right. Let's see if we can't move this over here. Okay, now. Hmm. 
Let's see. There's the pillage. Oh, I accidentally like zeroed him down to his uh, his airships. He might have tier two though. We never know. Hmm. No one shields that early. I mean, yeah, the shields are falling off, so people are starting to, you know, to, uh, you know, reshield when they log off. But truthfully, I don't recommend shielding this early on in the game because if you do get zeroed, well, usually people aren't big enough to zero you yet, and if they do, they only kill tier two if they truly zero you. If anything, they might steal a lot of resources, which if you get some Shadow Matter early on, that Shadow Matter eats up like 30,000 of each resource. I forget what it's worth, but it's worth a lot. Um, we need a different commander for farming. So Warp Gate 11, we get one. Should we dump? Who should be our third commander? We're going to be having a lot of Walker troops. Maruko's not bad because he does trigger all types. Um, and he does have a true strike kind of thing, but it doesn't ignore tear suppression. Vega, no. I mean, I, I think I'll just stick with the B commanders. And uh, Maruko is better than Mary in that regard. So let's do that. I guess we could do Rock if we want to do Ignore Tier Suppression builds. Nah. Maruko, ah, the problem with Maruko is he's hard to get to S Class to absorb later on. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and dump it there. All right, now we have a commander with some leadership that can actually farm tiles. And probably pillage people, right? Let's see, how much does Maruko carry? Oh, we got an angry baby in the background. We have an angry baby. 225,000. That's not very much. That is not very much at all. We'll go ahead and just hit the rest of these guys. Take what we need. Yeah, I'm not doing bullet again, man. I'm not Bullet requires a ton of leadership as well to really have the effect you want. Uh, plus a stupid accuracy build. Do you remember that crouton bomb? All the accuracy you had to pour into bullets gear. A gear. It was like so ridiculous. Do not want to do that again. I am good on bullet. Man, you know the problem with all these people with the same name is it's really hard to remember who you scouted. Just kind of assume, did I go over that way? All right, let's do that. There we go. Someone's moving next to me. Is it an ally? Yeah, Gundam. What's up, bud? Come on over. Come and visit. I should also remind everyone. I should also remind everyone. Don't come to the server and spend money. Don't expect me to be here next week. I'm saying that because I'm just still like bruised from my Sky Kingdoms adventure. So many players joined Sky Kingdom and spent thousands and thousands of dollars. And I was like, I'm still playing, guys, but like, damn, you guys are going hard on Sky Kingdoms. Sky Kingdoms is suffering, boys. It's down to like four servers. I think like maybe 10,000 active players at most. It's not great. It is certainly not great. But hey, listen, the stream is going good. We got our marching speed on. We're attacking people, we're getting resources. This guy's fat. All right. Let's, yeah, let's hit this guy. Mini Melt, he's back. What is that? Who's this? Oh, Galileo's hit just went off. What do you got for me, Galileo? Ooh, big hit for Galileo. He's up another 350,000. So we're getting our resources. They're coming back now. Remember, when your commander hits somebody, you don't get the resources they pillage until they arrive back on your ship. If you want the resources immediately, you can. You can teleport, and that brings all your commanders back instantly. But sometimes if you have a, a troop loss, uh, you can actually overflow your hospital, and that makes it so that you lose commander or you lose troops permanently. Now, a trick early on in this game to getting a bigger medical center capacity so your hospital doesn't overflow as easily, go up to your paraloper up here, and you can upgrade your paraloper. And every time you do, it says the initial medical center capacity is 500 and max meta energy storage is 500,000. We don't care about the meta energy. We care about that max hospital capacity. And this stuff, like I said, you just level up your uh, time and space war and you can easily crank this para dragon up. So there we go. I just went from 500 to 1,000, right? And that's a lot of tier 10, or a lot of tier 2. That's that's um what, 100 more or 50 more tier 2 um, troops in my hospital that I wouldn't overloss. And you will lose a ton of tier 2. And getting zeroed early in the game for the first month, if you don't get zeroed down to... to losing Tier 7 can be bad, but if you get zeroed up to Tier 5, Tier 6, not that big of a deal. Not worth crying over spilt milk. But I'm going to go ahead and burn through this. Just get it all the way up. I mean, you're going to take this Paradragon to 60 anyway. I think it's 60, right? Um, I'll save some of that crystal for tomorrow's mop-up. Nah. Okay, there we go. Now we got a nice big hospital. And you can see that there. 2,700... That's right, the Slay is the big hospital capacity. When An Ares also doubles or triples the hospital capacity, um, and that stacks with it. 
Vote me for meme review and replay of the week. Resistance, get out of here. Stop trying to get him. Is he's trying to put him his name out there on the YouTube channel live stream to get points for meme review? You know what? That's a minus point now. Resistance, minus point for trying to put yourself in front of the camera. You got to do what Crouton Bomb's doing. See, Crouton's smart. He comes, he hangs out in the chat, talks to the players, points out interesting things, contributes to the conversation. Crouton Bomb wins meme reviews on just pure talent. Hey, who's coming at me? Invaders are marching towards your arc. Resistance. <laughs> I was talking trash. Now he's attacking me. <laughs> come and get it, son. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Where are you at? I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come at you. You you better. You should know better. Come at me. Four nine three five ninety. Where are you? Uh oh. Did you jump? <gasps> I've been speed hit <laughs> as I was talking trash. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Okay, okay. Should we attack him back? We'll attack him back. Quick, go, 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 go. We gotta attack fast. Waste the gold. Okay, there. Now we hit him back. Did we get him? How hard did he hit us? How hard did we hit him? <laughs> I think he can attack me right back. I got him. I got him. Oh, he didn't hit me for anything. <laughs> Knock it off. What do you? I don't think he has any. His, he doesn't even have an army, right? All right, I'm gonna garrison against him. We'll get us a fight. Did he speed march me? Oh, he speed marched me. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Oh god, I'll tell you though. Even though there's nothing on the line, there's really nothing at stake here. Right? I'm not afraid of losing my army or my troops. There's still this like primal feeling that like this game gets out of you, gets your heart rate going. I should have a BPM monitor on my stream because like. It's fascinating how, like, you are primordially tied to your possessions. This game, this arc, all your resources feel like your possessions, and you, and people can come and take them. And, like, when they start to come at you, you have this, like, weird instinct to protect and defend. And, uh, man, it's, it's, it's a, dude, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know what, though? I mean, obviously, it's not the only game that gives you a good bit of excitement, right? Like, one of my favorite things about gaming is... Depending on the type of game, whether it's a role-playing game or a puzzle game or Magic the Gathering or Rocket League, um, you can just get into a game and, and very quickly like be really into it. And that falls apart when you're playing games like Dota 2. As much as I love Dota 2, it's one of the greatest games ever made. You can almost spend like 15 minutes playing Dota 2 and just be bored out of your mind. And then someone quits because they don't like their lane and then the game is, is ruined, right? You can go an hour playing Dota 2 and barely have any fun. That's the problem with Dota 2. But you can also get into super legendary high-level games that you remember for years. You know, Rocket League, on the other hand, you log into Rocket League, five minutes game, within 30 seconds, you are in the game, you're jumping around walls, you're hitting balls, you're doing crazy things, you're trying to have a good time. Rocket League is five minutes of fun, right away, get your heart beat up. Ark of War... Zero Cool has just donated $2 through Super Chat. Rocket League made the stream. That's true. It's true. I used to play a lot of Rocket League. I definitely don't play as much as I used to, but uh, it's a lot of fun right away. Rocket League gets you going. And um, our game starts off like that. It is high excitement, high entertainment. Uh, you can sit there watching your arc on Kill Event Weekend with your shield down and just be like, oh God, oh God, don't attack me. But you're like too greedy to shield early on, you know? But <clears throat> as time goes on in this game, the stakes get way too real way too real like after a year of playing this game and paying 10 bucks a day or 10 bucks a week 10 bucks a month it adds up to a substantial amount of money you log in three to five times a day you play for an hour a day you have a lot of friends you don't want to quit after a year or two years of this game i'm going back to like the philosophy of this game like i don't want it to be illegal but it probably should be just because of human nature people can be easily exploited to make bad decisions and confound those bad decisions over and over. Confound, compound those bad decisions over and over and over. A year later, they might stop and realize, like, what have I done? What have I done? How come I've spent... Angry baby. We got an angry baby. Um, yeah, so how, and they, people go through this and they, they realize, like, what have I done? How, how did I get into this? And the same kind of epiphany happens to gamblers, right? Like, I'm not an, a, gamble, a gambling uh, expert. I don't know the, the real addictions of, of people that suffer with that kind of mental illness, whatever you want to call it, you know. Uh, but this game does 
reach into your inner primal instincts and uh, draws you into the game, not only mentally, but financially. And uh, it's just something that's legal right now. And I don't think it's going to be legal forever. I love being on the forefront of it. Uh, it's, it's fascinating. It's fun to be a part of. And there's so many people that are kind of doing the same thing, kind of watching this dumpster fire burn. And uh, all along the way, it's, it's it's been great entertainment, right? We've met a lot of great people, and we've kind of seen the world evolve. What's going on with all this mail? Who's mailing me? Oh, resistance. Stop. <laughs> Stop spamming me. Um, we're seeing some crazy things happen, right? Like, like we're going to see players spend over a half million dollars. I think at this point, some of the top players in the game have spent over a half million dollars. For sure. And I don't really doubt that. I think some of the Asian players have found ways around... Chinese players specifically have found ways around spending as much as the other players. But the fact of the matter is, is in order to get a 1.6 million leadership commander up until last month, in order to get a 1.6 million leadership commander, you needed $30,000. You couldn't get magazines any other way. You just couldn't. Even if you had a bot farming magazines, you couldn't get a substantial amount to make it even worth doing. And people had five max leadership commanders. Many people, five people did. That alone is a million dollars. I mean, no, it's it's 30,000 times five. What is that? Uh, $150,000. That's just the leadership alone. Then they had max tier 12 armies for at least one of those commanders, if not five of them. The tier 12 armies is really where the money was, which is now kind of a deflated thing because you can buy it from resource brokers for uh, 10 cents on the dollar, something like that, five cents on the dollar. Uh, resistance join the guild and gaming the resources back. Oh, what's up, bud? Uh, the real pro move would be to join the guild as I was attacking you. And that way, <laughs> I couldn't. it wouldn't let me attack you. <laughs> uh, I wonder where it tele me, teleported me to. I lost my free jump for that. It was worth it. That was a good time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, what is my wife doing to that baby? <laughs> Check guild chat. What do you got for me? Uh, he joined the guild. I still have 4 million resources. How do you have 4 million resources? You're going to do it 10,000 at a time? You can only donate 100 a day. 100. Yeah, but yeah, you but you can only do 10,000 at a time. You need to upgrade your uh, your comm tower, right? You got to upgrade your comm tower to get more uh, larger, you know, gifts or whatever. How do I, I need to use speed ups. How come it doesn't let me automatically use speed ups? I think that's ridiculous. All right, speed up. There we go. 30 minutes. There we go. Aha. Okay. Well, what do we need to do? We got our research started. We got our forge ship going. Eh, we could probably upgrade that too. All right. Let's just be speed through our buildings because that's something I want to do all the time, but I don't want to do it off stream. So let's do that real quick. And then, oh man, look at all those five minute speed ups. Should we do some gambling with speed ups? Remember, you can gamble speed ups too. Hey, what do you guys think of this idea? So the developers are always looking at new ways to get people to log in and play the game, right? They, they just know that they that the more people play the game, the more uptime, the better it does on Google, the easier it is for them to get more players, new players. For, more players will talk about their game to other players in the real world. Um, so one thing they're always trying to do is, is figure out many games that they can add to the game to make people log in more. That was a really long way of saying, hey, here's something new I want to add to the game. I want to call it the Lion's Den. Did I already pitch this idea? I've been thinking about it a lot lately. It's in my notebook. So in the Lion's Den, I think I did. I think I pitched this last stream. <laughs> But you log in. Here's my new version of it. Uh, you log in maybe every week. Uh, five bucks or five bucks. Th thank you, Fishhead. You kind of <laughs> distracted my idea. You log in every day, and they say today on today's you know Lions Den. You click on an icon up here or something, right? And it says Megan T12 Max Leadership Tank Gear versus Rocket Max Leadership T12 Tank Gear. Who's gonna win? And everyone can wager 100 hyperspace crystal, 100 unlimited crystal, 100 faction crystals, this whatever you got. This name has just donated $5 through Super Chat. Beer mugs. Beer mugs? <laughs> I can't believe it said the emoji. That's funny. But uh, so when you go into the log into Ark of War every day, you just kind of get to think like, oh, I want to wager on today's lion's den who I think would win in a in a fair fight. 6v6 slots, max leadership, max gear, this commander for this commander, with the tier 12 old type with tank gear, tier 12 new type with damage gear, maybe a balance of in between, maybe like a shitty balance of the right gear, like half tank, half damage gear. 
It doesn't have to be the optimal build, but the idea is that players challenge their knowledge of the game. And then while you bet on that one, you can see the previous day's lion's den. You know, and we would start seeing a lot of different interesting buildups. You know, Lady and the Beast is making her a run back on the scene again because people like the way she battles with her time bombs. Right? It's kind of like Elf's Curse time bomb. It hits really hard. Same with Maruko. He hits really hard. People just don't run him. But um, all right, all right. I don't know. Off my off my rant. We were trying to do buildings. I keep getting distracted. There's so much going on. Now I can get Singularity Railgun. I can start building black hole bombs. For those of you guys that don't know which probably isn't many people that are watching this, but maybe in the future, people of the future watching this going, who is this guy? Uh, the Singularity Railgun allows you to build a black hole bomb. The black hole bomb lets you basically kill troops for free if you lose a fight. You lose a fight, the black hole bomb blows up. They are expensive, but they punish your opponent uh, if they beat you. So it's like a weird, spiteful thing you can spend uh, expensive resources on to punish your opponent. And as troops get bigger... Uh, some bombs need to be upgraded because they don't actually kill them. Now, this doesn't work too good against low tier. You definitely want to use this on tier 7 or above uh, just because usually the, the building of the bomb is more expensive than the troops you kill. So just be careful of that. And uh, I don't know why I'm upgrading this thing. I don't plan on building any bombs, but you know what? We did it, boys. We did it. All right, let's go to our research lab. Now we can get our good research. Help, thank you. We asked too many questions. Does research take effect? Do they have a haul? Oh, I have no idea. Which, yeah, I, I'm missing that one. All right, let's get the speed up going. 15 minutes, 5 minutes. Boom, boom. All right, research lab, what do you got for me? I love how you can't click advanced tab. Like, they don't want you to see how expensive everything is in here. Can't click that either. Like, ah, oh, you got to be 21. You won't know. You won't know until you play the game for a year. Unbelievable. Did I do a video just showing people what's inside there so players can go and see that before they ever get too far into this game? I should probably do that again. Okay, so right now we can do more walker training speed so we can build more tier 2 or upgrade our walker HP. I know that the walker HP upgrade doesn't seem very good at this point in the game. It definitely scales well, but we need resources to buy it. Let's go ahead and start collecting on all these storyline quests. Smash the help button. Do I not do that? I normally do. It normally drives me crazy, but when I'm filming and streaming... There's about 17 things going on in my head right now, including what I'm going to talk about next. So clicking the help button just kind of, it either help, it either happens or it doesn't. I don't think too much about it. All right, let's try research lab. Nope, got to do the recycling station. Nope, got to do the bridge. Nope, got to do armored hall. There we go. Okay. Now we got a ton of resources. Let's go do some research. Yes, please. I keep hitting in <laughs> London's fogs, watching the stream and like trying to hit my help icon on, on her phone. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go to Walker HP. I'd like to double upgrade this if I could. One minute there. Okay. Another one. There. Ah, Research Lab 9. Man. All right. We'll start another research just because we can. Probably airships because I like Tier 2 airships for farming, whether I plan on attacking with them or not. They're just good farming because they don't uh, they don't die very often in tile fights. Level 10 or 12 tiles don't really kill a lot of tier 2, so they're easy to farm with. Okay. Oh my goodness. I am still burning. What is going on? Now, I wonder. So, I've gathered all those resources from uh questing, right? The quests. Now, if you look here, these are my safety resources. See all these? That's the end of the green screen. All these are my safety resources only a thousand so all those quests i just picked up those can be pillaged by other players so those are not safety resources safety resources are only the resources you get from opening resource packs these can't be pillaged off you until you send them to market and come back or send them to the fort storage and come back um that's true i shouldn't repair the hall that's a good point don't repair your arc durability because the the faster your arc durability breaks, the faster your ship gets ported off the map so you cannot be hit again. If your ship is staying on the map and you keep getting hit over and over and over, they will keep massacring troops over and over and over. So don't repair your arc hull. Honestly, I wish you could disable that thing because it's always best to have it as low as possible unless you want to get into a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight where you are slamming head-to-head -head with other players. And I can tell you that that basically never happens. <laughs> That's just... You need your armored hull to break 
more than you'll ever need to stand toe to toe with somebody. So don't repair that thing. Good point. Good point, Crouton Bomb. All right, so we finally hit that guy. Ooh, we got some gas out of him. All right. All right, what were we doing again? We got distracted again. We got distracted again. All right, uh, we were upgrading buildings. Oh, okay. All right, we can upgrade that. What is that? Where's the speed up at? Here we go. One hour. Speed up. No. The VIP really helps it uh, helps me finish buildings quicker because it lets me finish now, what, 20 minutes early? And that really does add up when you're building all these buildings early on. Ooh, there's a warp gate. That means I can have a higher commander level, which means it takes my commander. My commander gets a higher level, which means he gets first strike more often against lower opponents. Always gets first strike against lower opponents, so it lets his power level go up higher. You can click on information here. So commander cap at level 7 is 29. It doesn't even matter until level 10. It goes to 39, uh, which can be useful. But the higher your commander level is, the more expensive it is gold-wise to heal them. If they die in a fight at level 60, it takes like 5 hours. And it's like 400, 500 gold after you do the, the time and space war thing. Melt, use the space station. I have started using the space station. Uh, let's see. I think... I think I had to like do 10 leadership, so it's ready for its upgrade. Let's see. Ta space station, 500 sands of time. Yeah, so right now I have construction speed, research speed, commander cure speeds. So I'll go ahead and take this up a little bit. I've got 60 to burn through, so there we go. We'll take that to 15. I mean, I don't really need that as much as I need the construction speed and research speed. So let's get this to 20 right away. Ah, research speed. I mean, research doesn't get too crazy yet but it will so we'll take that to 15 just in case i forget there we go all the way done and done there we go good idea thank you suave construction or research yeah you end up re regretting that at bridge 21 or 22 and you're like oh, i don't need any more construction i've used it all now i want my space station tokens back and then they release bridge 23 and you're like oh thank god i didn't undo that so i wonder when there's going to be a bridge 23 remember we made the station 22 channel before bridge 22 ever existed there's going to be a bridge 23, and we're going to have that old station 22. We're going to have to upgrade our station, Archimedes Station. Uh, Ace of Galaxy Coins. Ace of Galaxy Coins. Uh, let's see. I'll take a look at them. So, uh, safety resources are not necessarily the boxes. A while back, I tried zero on my alt because I had billions. After the sixth hit, I could not rob anymore. But my alt was still loaded. Uh, it should say safety resources, Black Time. I'm like 90% sure on that, unless they changed it. What do we have here? Still no coins. Let's set our team. Here we go. Get some... Uh, hey, hey, hey. There we go. Get this right there. There we go. Okay. So now, who can we challenge? Well, let's just go... Let's go pick a fight. This guy's 200,000 power. We are going to lose. Yeah, he's got tier 4. Tier 3? Tier 4. Tier 3. All right. Instinct. Come on. Heal up. Oof. Actually, he doesn't hit very hard yet. He doesn't hit very hard. We do. We're going to win this one. Okay. All right. Tier 3 versus... Man, that's a lot of Tier 3. This might be a bot. You know what it is? It could be a bot. Early Ace of Galaxies aren't actual players all the time. So this could actually be a pre-made bot from the game themselves. His name is Craftsman. That's a pretty generic name. Craftsman, Rylic, the Destroyer, Flash, Tinkaris. The Flash might be a real player. Million power? Yeah, he might be a real player. Yep, he is. A little bit of tier four. Usually the computers will have full slots. Okay. All right. Wow, I got five. How did I kill him? I guess he didn't have that many. I'll take it. All right, so we've got some gear. What else do we need? We need gear. And we got some quests here. Singularity Railgun. Finish exploring. I can always finish exploring for more resources. What do I have in the way of... See, you'll get a lot of 24-hour, 8-hour, 3-day food production things when you start spinning the wheel during those uh, spin-the-wheel events. But right now, we have a super vending machine. Not that useful. I wouldn't recommend spinning the wheel unless there's a 4,000 gold bonus. And then you can actually spend it a lot. Spin it a lot because that 4,000 gold bonus comes around a lot. I did some videos on uh, spinning wheels, and usually they're very affordable to do. Both of the level 5 guys are full of resources. If you want mates to bump in stream... Whoa! Hey, we have a fort. Build. Sweet. Okay. Uh, details. Check out our level 1 fort. Can we put resources in there? No, it has to be level 5 to put resources in it. Okay, very cool. Alright, what else do we need to do? I could hit that guy. I'm not too focused on PvPing right now. What else do I need to do? Keep my buildings going. 
Man, I, honestly, I could just spend the next 40 minutes upgrading buildings. I was thinking about doing this on stream so people didn't, like, miss it. Uh, but there's really not much action to it. You know, it's kind of like a uh, just a dead thing to do. So maybe, maybe it's something I'll do on my own time just to not, like, waste everyone's time. But I also do want people to realize, like, a lot of the early game, the first five hours of this game is just a lot of this. Upgrade, speed up, upgrade, speed up, you know. A lot of that over and over and over again. Yeah, I'm trying resistance. There's cords. Are they nearby? Did you share me killed? Oh my god, my son is so mad. These guys are rich. 500k each? Are you serious? Alright. Oh, that's, yeah, they're like 125,000 safety or pillage resources up or whatever you call it. Yeah, so just by sitting all day... Uh, power station all your resource collectors will start to collect resources and fill up to red and then those are easy to pillage resources uh, that's usually what you see on all those abandoned ships out there hey uh, look outside your arc what's up buds what's going on guys everyone's coming over got the guild fort that's oh we can't reinforce the guild fort yet that would be cool what's going on in world chat anyone talking trash anyone out there Whoa, who are the guilds in the world? Look at all these guys. Do you guys remember being like a, a lower than level 10 arc? No, you don't either? Well, imagine if you were a lower than level 10 arc now, not knowing anything about what's really going on in this game. The history of this game, the crazy stories that have come out of this game. These guys just logged into a cell phone game. They don't think it's pay to win. They have no idea what's going on. Most of them won't be playing in a month. You never know. You never know. Those were the days. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, we need to go pick a fight and do something because, uh, well, frankly, we got to keep ourselves entertained. So we've got a level 5 sandworm here. I think I can kill him with just tier 2. I'm going to try it because I need the gold, baby. Daddy needs that gold. Where's the level 6 at? So level 6 might give me trouble. Um, Clarence says, Melt, what is the rate of special piece release from the super strong chest, i.e. open 50 chest and no special tools? Oh, that's a good question. I used to do videos on specific events on what the drop rate was for the rare reagent. It's anything from 25 to 300. Um, and that is predetermined. Now, it is possible to get lucky and get the item early, but it is very rare. Like 1 in 20 people at, at best will get the item early. In general, whenever you have a special super equipment chest, not a strong equipment, super equipment chest, uh, you need to ask the community online, and they will tell you how many it takes, usually within an hour of it coming out. But uh, I was defeated. I did level up. Let's see what happened here. That's 1,500 tier 2. That is going to fill my hospital pretty closely. Ooh. You can kind of tell that if I had a little more gear here, I might have done okay. And I need more research, too. Need to need a little bit of more everything, you know? Ooh, that infantry hurt. All right, so we lose that. Didn't do much. But you know what? That's a level 5 monster, I think. Well, that's that's tier 2. That's tier 2. All right, I think my uh, Galileo can kill that level 5, no problem. But we probably want to clear our hospital real quick. Remember, it's cheaper to heal in, in uh, groups of uh, 200 or less, right? As soon as you're at 20, it's 1250 each, right? 1250 total immediately jumps a huge amount once you go over 200. I forget the math to it, but basically the, the more troops you heal at a time, the more it costs you until there's like a cap. Uh, this early in the game, I don't really care. Tier 2 is really cheap anyway. The time is really what slows you down, so I just burn through it real quick. How far along is my space station? Um, space station or time and space war? Space station's at 35. Time and space war is at 60? 75. So, yeah, it's coming along. That, that's free stuff, guys. Remember, those are good to do because it's just free stuff. Ooh, big hits. Wow, you weren't kidding. There's a lot there. So, you can view people's videos from clicking on their pics. Are you talking about in the chat alone? No, not on YouTube. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, Blackheim. You lost me. All right, what were we doing again? Checking research? No, I think we need to upgrade our, our hull there. We we're doing buildings, buildings, buildings. Oh my god. Baby's angry. 
All right, we need to pick one more fight. We need to pick one more fight. And if you are on server 1125 and you want to be part of this ridiculous guild, uh, level up this guild fort. Join the guild. When someone needs to rename this guild, who's going to be our guild leader? Gundam, you're the guild leader. Congratulations. Uh, we need a better name. T Death Squad, TDS, Death DD Squad. we got to come up with a better name than that. I trust you. All right. Uh, what else do we got here? Oh, we want to kill that monster, right? All right, where's our guy at? Galileo! Galileo! All right, minute 39. We're going to kill that level 6 monster. Um, <laughs> do you bick it on your head or just random electric razor asking for a friend? Uh, I don't bick my head. I have before. Um, I don't actually... Like, if I'm going to go on a mission, like South America or something, and I need to have, like, awareness of humidity, I will bick my head down so that I can tell exactly, like, the altitude of where I'm at, what time of the day it is, when the next rainstorm's coming in. If you bick your head all the way down, it's like a sixth sense. You literally can feel, like, the density of the moisture in the air. You can feel breezes coming from, like, multiple directions. When someone throws up grass in the air and the wind is coming in from, they say, oh, the wind is coming in this direction. It's like... No. Okay. People with shaved heads know the wind is coming in in about three or four different directions in that general direction. Okay. But, uh, no, 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 I don't, I don't bick my head anymore. Like I said, unless I'm on a mission for day to day use, uh, I just shave it just, yeah. You know, uh, if I don't shave it and I go like a month without doing anything, I end up looking like George Carlin. You guys ever seen what bald George Carlin looks like? I kind of have that hair going on. Basically, it's a mullet with a crown, a bald crown. I haven't fully grown it out yet. I just <laughs> I just haven't committed to that look yet. It's quite a look. Uh, the barometric pressure. The wax it? I'm not waxing my head. That ain't going to happen. Oh, look at this. What are you attacking here? What do you got? What do you got? All right, all right. Attacking tiles, man. I like it. Attacking arcs to steal resources, that's understandable. If people need resources, attack arcs, get them, you know. Attacking tiles, man, that's just spiteful behavior. That's how you make enemies. That's how you make people long-standing players of this game. In fact, if you want to make sure these players log in tomorrow, attack all their tiles. <laughs> that way they see a notice on the phone, your tile was attacked. They'll go, what? Who attacked my tile? And they log in. They start trying to find you. They start searching the map. Then they try to find your tiles. Next thing you know, they're attacking your tiles. Then they start talking trash and rushing. That's how you make players play this game over and over. You want you want to play with other players? Pick a fight with them. That's the real trick of Ark of War. I think I already attacked that guy. I would wax mine to blind people. <laughs> yeah, it, dude, it, it can get shiny. That's for sure. No, you know, my wife My wife doesn't care. I, listen, my wife's known me since I was 15, 16? I don't know. She's known me for more than half my life. So uh, I think, I think like, uh, we never had those problems of dating or online dating or, like, first impressions. Like, I'm not going to say we never had any rocky roads along the way, but uh, we've been kind of... I don't know. I, our relationship has kind of transcended the cosmetic portion of attraction. We kind of like started a life together. And we started that like 10 years ago. And we've been down that road. Just like, I don't even think about that kind of stuff anymore. Uh, you know, she wants to do her hair a certain way. And, you know, and she, she doesn't care what I do. She's, as long as I'm happy, you know. Guys, I sound like an old person now. Jesus. God, I can stop talking like that. All that hair earned him a child. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to touch that. You know you're old when you have to, like, uh, shave your ears. <laughs> that was a that was an epiphany. All right, now we're getting gross. We're getting gross. Well, you guys are all old, too. I look at the YouTube demographics. I know how old you guys are. The average viewer of our channel is the same age as me, okay? We got guys and girls ranging from 28 to 42 is, like, the... 80% of you guys. So, yeah. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. Mr. Mike chimes in for nose hair. I, was, I knew you were around, Mr. Mike. I knew it. All right. Did I kill that monster? We're trying to kill a level six monster. That's what we need to do. Whoa, activity rewards. I somehow did something. Oh, that's right. It's Kill Monsters Day. 
All right, so my Galileo straight wrecked him. Oh, he was killing airships. Very nice. So that was what was on the tile. Boom, there's the hit. Hit him. Uh-oh, game bug out. Sometimes it does that. All right, so Galileo went and did his work. We're going to attack the level 6 tile now. Level 6 monster. That's tier 2 versus my tier 2. I think I have more leadership than he does. Ooh, instant heal. Very nice. Uh, let's see how we did. So it is a sandworm level five he's got some he's a sea commander level two gear some infantry okay so he's got tier two walkers in the front tier two infantry in the back walker in the front infantry in the back is good for me i can take out the walkers i can take out the infantry airships would be a problem let's see yeah, I'm going to be able to ramp right up. So what's great about Galileo is his skills keep stacking, right? So this plunder, or not plunder, instinct keeps building up, building up, building up. And look at that. I'm hitting even harder now. And the heal goes off. It gets better and better. So watch this hit. I'm going to hit for instinct's going to go off. Watch the hit. 10,652. Let's see. I'll get one more stack of instinct, and I should hit for more than 10,000. Come on, give me another stack. Yes, watch. 10,000. It'll be 11,000. Almost. So it goes up a little bit. Now, of course, as that skill goes up, the stacking goes up better and better and better, which is why I think Galileo may be a contender for the Tier 12 Plus Penetration meta, as well as Blader. People are working on that now. Uh, but, you know, Galileo is a fun commander. He's, he's super good until Tier 7. Tier 7, then it starts to get risky because um, Vega starts getting strong. Golem's really strong. Raymond's really strong. Walkers with Tier 7 are risky because of how powerful those commanders are. Now remember, back when I was tier 7, Elf didn't exist. And Pictor wasn't very good. Now that Elf and Pictor are a thing, there may be more options. But here we go. We killed our level 6 monster. We picked up 800 free gold. Uh, this guy did have some airships. Let's see how this went. Oof. Alright, so... Oh man, that is uh, 27 per slot times 20. So that is... Uh, 580? Oh, God. Why am I doing math on stream? No, 540. 540 leadership. Okay, 540 leadership. So he's half my leadership, but he has airships, which are going to hurt me pretty bad. But you'll notice I'll do much better against the infantry, like I did last replay, and then the walker in the back. But I think I could take a tier 7 monster. We'll go ahead and push this all the way through. And I did okay. I only lost about 30% of my front row. And as long as those instincts and heals are big enough to keep replenishing me, I'm gonna do okay. So let's try, let's go for that seven monster, and we'll see how that goes. And we're gonna we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do okay. I think on that. I'm a little worried, just a little worried. Let's try and buff my. Um, what do we need the most of? Probably instinct, because that's our biggest stacking skill. Yeah, we can burn a little bit of gold here just to rush that. And do we have any gear we can use? Man, I need walker stuff oh anything's better than nothing i suppose but can we build anything here what can we build i'd really like to get some gold um some gold weapons that would be ideal weapons let's see buy oh nothing on the market okay uh let's see i did start factions yes but i'm not really going to proceed down that road just yet airship carbon kneecap I mean, I guess I can build it just to build it, but that's not what I want. I want medium pistol plus. Dude, this is going to be hard to get. I mean, I guess I could do mop-ups. Should we do that? Let's try and do mop-ups just to get... I mean, 1% or 2% is not going to matter that much. It's Just forget it. Forget it. it. Part of the early game is doing a lot of mop-ups. A lot of uh, exploring. Now, there is ways to do a macro to keep exploring. You can literally, like... Have it choose your commander, go through all 10, one at a time. It's a lot faster now that you can speed through them quicker. Um, but, you know, that's uh, I'm not ready to go down that road just yet. All right, let's find a level 7 monster. See if we can't pick a fight. Level 7 monsters aren't going to be this low down, right? We have to go up, up, up. There is a 6. All right, I am 50 tiles northward. Is that where I need to go? Yeah, the closer you get to the middle, the higher the monsters get. Let's see, let's see. Where is... Man, the, the map is so big and all, everyone is so limited by gold and jumps that you could, like, warp somewhere and, like, not be found for a day. Remember that? Like, back in the day, that's... Nowadays, like, players have, you know, just 
five, ten people constantly scouring the map. Oh, level seven. There it is. And you, if you're unshielded for three minutes, you get zeroed, you know? Man. I always thought when people started getting zeroed that that was, like, not going to happen forever. I thought that would go away. And then, like, it just dawned on me a month later. I'm like, this is the game you play now. You're shielded 24-7. You have to run a biological clock in your head to remember to reshield all the time. It's a thing. Ah, Crouton Bomb. You're right, man. Fully load uh, 1 in 5. Well, 1 in 4. And then Rangers and everything else. The problem with that is... Uh, using tier two to tank the tiles is okay but that is a good way to march on monsters if you're not sure if you would win that that's probably something i should do just to teach people like hey if you're not sure and you don't want to lose your whole army um you know put one unit or dodger units in the other slots in case you do lose uh, and that way it's kind of a test march if you lose to a monster your commander doesn't get damaged or injured so you can attack right again um and you know, i didn't even talk about how valuable dodge gear is dodge gear is so useful early game Ooh, I, already, I think I already scanned this guy. But um, it's so hard to get gear early on unless you spend. Boy, and they'll let you too. And honestly, like I was kind of talking trash about all this gear early on. But if you had all this gear early on for 20 bucks, you are way ahead of the curve. Way ahead of the curve in fights. Uh, it all just comes down to leadership and, and, and do you have enough troops and, and the basic gear you have to, to hold, down the, hold down the battlefield, if you will. Okay. Oh, Mike, Mr. Mike, you're right, Interstellar Monster. You can search for him. Oh, there's one right here. Mike, you're the man. Oh, that's right, the search tool. We never used to have that. Level 7 monsters right next to me. I had to go 100 spaces north. What was that? Okay, all right, Mr. Mike coming through. Okay, level 7 monster. Let's scout it out. We're a 1,000 leadership tier 2 walker commander. With basically no gear, okay? And what we're going against is, okay, we're going against an 800 liter, 780 leadership, tier two, walk or airship in the front, infantry in the back. That's bad, with good gear too. His skills are, looks like Cohen's heel, which is like a elf's heel, and Maruko's ghost cannon thing? What is that? Let's take a look at that. So if you want to know what a skills a, uh, a monster has, you can actually look at the icon. There it is. It's Flare's 20% guaranteed hit skill. So the infantry in the back row has a guaranteed hit because it's infantry. And then the airship in the front has a heal. It's not Vega's heal. It is Cohen's heal. So let's go down and see if it's Cohen's. Man, it's bad when you can just look at an icon and know what commander it is of the 50 commanders. I guess not. Dota 2 is... People memorize those commanders, right? So that's the three-star max or fix it, fix it heal. That's um, that's honestly a really tough fight for us because what I can anticipate is I don't hit hard enough with walkers to kill those airships. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make a thousand leadership of tier two infantry. And what that's going to let me do is they're not going to trigger instinct and heal but I'm going to put them behind my front row. Uh, 257. There we go. I'll just burn a two-hour speed up to build all these. Okay. And what that's going to do is these infantry... You got to remember, I don't have any research or gear. So it doesn't really matter uh, that I'm using infantry with my walker commander. Except for the fact that I'm not getting the benefit of the skills for that one turn. Uh, but it's going to it's gonna bust through those airships because infantry is a natural counter to airships. Infantry has a higher base damage, but they have lower base defense stats. Uh, so we should do pretty well here. 18 slots away. Auto march there. And we will do infantry in the back to protect them. There is no awakening. So we should do okay here. Oh, man. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, if we win this fight, we fight the level eight. If we lose this fight, end of stream, I got work to do. It's as simple as that. So depending on how this goes, <laughs> it's all on the line right here. This seven monster, Galileo, 1000 leadership, tier two with uh, walkers, and then one slot of tier two infantry in the back. No gear going against an 800 leadership, tier two monster. Well, how much gold's on the line here? 1,100 gold.
Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No whammies. No whammies. Do I think we're going to win this? I don't know, man. If we can break through that first slot, we'll break through with the infantry. The other slots ain't going to make it. But is there enough? I don't know, man. I think I think maybe. But that that Cohen heal, if he gets lucky and, heal, and gets that heal going, it's a 40% chance to trigger on those airships. You got. I don't have any crit damage. There's no crits. I really don't hit hard enough. I don't think I'm going to break through the heel, guys. I think we're losing. <gasps> we won! <laughs> we totally won! Oh, that is so awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. And we did really well, too. Okay, you guys ready to watch this? Hey, hey, hey. All right, all right. So... The instinct goes off. We got our first stack of instinct. We only kill five per shot. It's very dangerous. But if we get lucky, he doesn't trigger the heal, which may really decide the first round. If we break through in the first round, that's why. He didn't get the heal on slot one. Okay. There's his master fix it. Oh, it's not. His is the, the triggered heal. It's not a hit heal like elf. Okay. But he might get it next round. I think we're going to break through with that infantry shot. Yes, the awakening is going off, hitting him too. Here's the infantry shot. Boom! We killed 20 instead of 5 because infantry is so much better than Walker. That's some pro stats right there, boys. That's some pro gamer level right there. All right, here comes the plunders. Instincts are just ramping up. So my, my Walker troops are buffing my infantry troops. You see the, the arrows, the up arrows there? Even though the infantry can't trigger the Walker skills from Galileo, they can get the benefits of the, of the Walker buffs. So, oh, I didn't break through. Here he goes. Here he goes. He doesn't trigger his heal either. That's what made all this possible. This will clear the front row. Now my infantry really did 20 damage on their first strike. Did a lot for me. And now my infantry in the back row might one-shot his infantry just because I have so much more attack and accuracy. Oh, down to seven. I was off by seven. Man, that is crazy. Man, you know you've been playing this game too long when you can predict these ridiculously unintelligible fights. Honestly, like... I'm going to be so sad one day when I walk away from this game and I have all this knowledge of just playing it for so long and it's just going to go to waste. You know what I mean? Like, I spent so much time figuring out the puzzle of this game, making videos about it, talking to players about it, arguing with players about it, you know, and there's like this wealth of knowledge that is totally useless. That is games. Maybe that's why China is trying to stop young kids from playing games. Imagine if I knew this much about, you know, rocket science, you know? Uh, I don't know. No, no, let's not. Let's not. Let's play video games. We do work in the middle of the day. Nighttime, we entertain ourselves. Okay. Well, that means, uh, guys, we did pretty well. Convincing win, but we did lose almost half of our front row, which means it's going to be a struggle to beat an eight monster. But I'm a man of my word. I said if we win that fight, we will fight an eight monster. So let's heal our troops up. So make sure they don't overflow. 24 minutes. We'll burn right through that. Man, I love all these speed ups. This is great. All right, there. All of our troops are healed now. What can we do to quickly increase our potency? Well, I'm going to spend some gold. You know what? I'm going to spend some gold getting my skills up because I know that, that heal is going to help. And I know that instinct is going to greatly help. But what I'm thinking now is if I'm going against walker troops on this next fight, I'm going to need some airships just like I did those infantry in the back row. I just know it. I'd, I'd be stupid not to get some airships. So what that means is, is I need to get... A thousand leadership worth of airships, which is 50. Is that 50, I think? I'll call it 51. That way I can have a full shot of airships if I need them. There we go. We got them. Okay. Scouting report. Oh, it's tier three. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have any hull buffs yet. I don't have my first hull even made yet. At level 10, I get it. I could power up and I do I have any of that? No, I have no power ups yet. I'm not gonna pay the gold either, that's too expensive. I'd rather just buff my own skills at that point. What about the guild? Does the guild have any buffs? Yeah, the guild's got buffs. Here we go. Let's get our member attack up, guys. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Alright. Level eight monster. What is it again? Alright. It's uh 92 times 15 is is a 920 plus 400 and 480 920 plus 480 is 1400 leadership right is that right oh my god math is so much easier when you're not like doing it live i swear it's so weird 
1380. Oh yeah. I finally get one right. 1380 leadership of walkers in the front. Infantry in the back. So in a case like this, you know, you would think the proper counter is airships in the front to counter the walkers, walkers in the back to counter the infantry. But because I am a walker commander who is so heavily relying on the triggers from instinct and plunder, it's better to just use tier two walkers against tier two walkers. Um, and this is actually a very manageable fight for me. I can actually do really well here. Um, if I did do airships, I might do equally as well. But one thing's for sure, I can rely on my skills to get me over the uh, advantage of, of what airships would have provided. So let's go ahead and do this. We have um, basically no need to run airships. But I'm going to go ahead and run an airship here instead. Because the infantry in the back row, I'm really not worried about. I'm mostly focused on getting that front row down. If I can get that front row down, that's going to be the difference for me. So here we go. Let's do it. No use for Sui yet. That's right. Oh, you know what? Can I can I awaken? I can awaken. I can awaken him. Uh, it would be really nice to have some resistance weakened awakened. Or dodge. God, man. Dodge might be huge. But I don't think I even have the, the walker thing to do it yet. Come on. Come on, baby. This is it, guys. If we win, we kill a nine monster. If we lose, the stream is over. Tomorrow's video is replay of the week. You guys want to see it? You guys want to see tomorrow's video? I could just cut it on, throw it on at the end of the, the stream here. The stream's not going to go live again until maybe Thursday I'll upload it. So anyone watching it now won't be able to watch it again tomorrow. Yeah. 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 If, if I lose, the stream's over. Yeah, it's a short stream. We can only stream for an hour, hour and a half. That's it. Sorry, those are the rules. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Come on, level 8 monster. We need this win so bad. God, my nose is itching me. It's not all the cocaine. I do not, I do not do drugs. That did not sound convincing. Here we go. No! You've received Commander Galileo's defeat report. Remember, if you fight a monster and kill a bunch of units, those units instantly heal. If you go attack them again, those units are not still dead. Oh my god. My hospital is going to overflow. I, I lost 6,000 units. Yeah, 4,000. I lost 5,000 units. My hospital is going to overflow right now. I'm going to lose a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the commander capacity thing I got earlier. Increase it by 200%. Now I should be able to fit 9,000. I will not overflow. Awesome. London's Fog is on it. Thank you. How close was it, boys? Let's be honest. How close was it? Angry baby. Oh, man. He's hitting for 30. There's a plunder, so I'll get some of that back. Only one troop? That's because I'm not critting. I need way more damage. Tier 3 is just that much better. Man. There's the instinct. That'll start to ramp up, but it's it's going to be too little too late. Luckily, I'll do a little better against that infantry in the back row on this next volley. Still not enough. There's a ghost cannon. Not an Oh, the infantry crit on me. Ouch. Okay, the airships did hit hard. They killed 15. This guy killed uh, eight. So airships still hitting twice as hard as walkers, even though, yeah, the damage is done. That's game, boys. That is game. I don't think there's a chance, unless I awaken dodge, and I might do better there. But tier three versus tier two. I just need a lot more leadership and a lot more damage just to uh, get those awakenings off and blow the front row up. But that's it, boys. That's it. I'm going to set my units to heal. I'm going to finish off the, uh, the resources. And uh, I'm going to start something. What do I need to start? And then I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to call it a night and do what I got to do. So thanks, everyone, for watching the stream and hanging out. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks, mods, for keeping it under control. Mr. Mike, you are 100% right. Nine is not going to happen tonight. Maybe next stream we'll tackle that infamous nine monster. Um, we don't have any gems, man. We have no gems. So we can't really, you know, get on top of it. We need gems. Uh, Ares or whatever we can get our hands on. To lower their attack damage, buff our own. We need just gear. We're just missing all the basics. What am I short? I need like, oh, jeez. All right, I got to do one more thing here. Collect that. Is that enough? That's enough. Okay. Bridge 8 has begun, and that's the end of the stream. Crouton Bomb, London's Fog, Roger Wilco, Improbius. New player. Mr. Mike, Clarence Hendricks, Resistance. Thanks for hanging out. Resistance, I'll see you on Friday. Tomorrow's replay of the week. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys later. Good night.